Today in our 2017 Honda Civic, we're going to be taking a look at installing the Curt Custom Fit Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11463. So this is what our hitch is going to look like fully installed. It's going to have that one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch opening. It's got that nice reinforced collar to give it that clean finished look. Now it's going to use a standard half inch pin and clip, which is included, so you don't have to buy anything extra. Now there is a plate on the bottom here, that's for your safety chain loops. It's a welded plate, and as you can see, there's still plenty of room to get any kind of accessories or safety chains on there. Now this hitch has a 200 pound tongue weight capacity, and that's going to be the force pushing down. It also has a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating, and that's the amount that it can pull. Now you do want to double check your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can handle that. For any non-trailer loads, such as any accessories you might use, the manufacturer does recommend using a stabilization strap. Now I'm going to give you a quick few measurements going to help you when picking out your accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. Now from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube is nine and a half inches. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let me show you how we get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to have to lower our exhaust down. So I'm going to take a strap and I'm going to wrap it around and support it. That way when it does fall down, it doesn't fall all the way to the ground. Now on each side, we're going to have an exhaust hanger right here and one right above our exhaust tip. I'm just going to put some spray lubricant on there to help get them off. Now I'm just going to take a pry bar and start pushing on it until the rubber comes off. Our next step is going to be removing our heat shield and you're going to have three bolts, one here, here, and here. And we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side as well. Now the instructions say we need to trim our heat shield and we're going to measure from the edge right here over 10 and a half inches and from the top here we're going to measure nine and a quarter inches. And wherever that meets up we're going to be taking all this out and trimming it. Now I'm going to be using a pair of tin snips. Now this is just heat shield so it's not very thick. You can use tin snips, a rotary tool, or whatever you have handy. Just make sure you be careful not to cut your hands. Now this is what the heat shield looks like fully trimmed. We're going to do the same thing to the other side and we're going to set them aside so we can install them later. All right now with an extra set of hands we're going to lift our hitch into position. The forward most hole towards the front of the vehicle right here. We're going to line that up pretty close to where it's going to be and we're going to mark our hole for the front. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to take a little bit of spray paint, line up my hitch, and just put a little bit of paint on the frame, and that'll let me know where I need to drill. With the hitch out of the way so you can see better, this is the foremost hole that we were talking about, and this is the mark we made on the back, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now with both of our holes marked, I'm going to start a small hole and drill into the frame. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now that we have our pilot holes drilled, I'm going to come back with a half inch drill bit and drill through. Now we're also going to enlarge the forward most hole to a half inch as well. And we're going to go in and repeat that same process on the other side. Next, we're going to take our fish wire and we're going to put it in the rearward most hole. And we're going to feed it through and we're going to have it come out at the furthest forward most hole right here. Now it does take a little bit of patience and just a matter of lining everything up. And you can feed your wire down. 
we're gonna install our spacer block, and then we're gonna take one of our bolts and we're gonna thread it onto there. We're gonna push the block into the channel, push the bolt in there, down, just like that. And we're gonna repeat the same process for this hole as well as the other side. With our hardware in place, we can go ahead and reinstall our heat shields. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch back into place, and we're gonna put the wires through the corresponding holes for the hitch. Once we have it in place, we can pull our pull wire off, then we can install the flange nut. Now with our hardware all in place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten them down with a 11 16 socket. With all the hardware snugged down, we're gonna come back and torque it to a specified amount in the instructions. All right, now with our hardware all torqued down, now we just need to put our exhaust back up. Now with our exhaust hangers back up, I'm going to take our strap down and finish up the ones for the muffler. And that'll finish up our look in the installation of the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11463 on our 2017 Honda Civic. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.